All right, hello. Welcome hey. to Mari Mar's Spanish Table. You sure? You sure that we're on? Hello, yes, we're on. yes, we're now okay. live. Uh -huh. All right. Always some small technical difficulties along the way. All right. Well, we are coming to you live from Mom's Kitchen, uh -huh. and we've had quite the eventful week. It's uh, what happened yesterday. We finished harvest. Oh, boy. We picked the tempranillo, and it's so perfect. I mean, it tastes wonderful. And the you know we always try to pick it late because the tannins are very, very uh, harsh otherwise. Mm. So sometimes we pick it at you know, 25 um, bricks, which is a, a measure of sugar. And we picked at 23.2, hmm. hmm. which is so low, which is fantastic. Yeah. Huh. Because we don't like high alcohol wines, but you know, sometimes you have to just, you know, one thing or the other. Anyway, yep. so yep. we're done with harvest. Yay. There we go. Can it's we the end of harvest 2022. Yes, let's toast. Or, uh, or, or, or. Let's toast with a glass of Stony Block Pinot, Yay. which is our pairing for today. And here is to Harvest 2022. Exactly, Cheers. Exactly. Oh, boy. And the wines are all fermenting beautifully. And, you know, the whites, the reds, great. All yeah. right. So, mm. Mom, what are we cooking today? Well, because the beginning of, of uh, not harvest, beginning of, of, of uh, fall, I thought we'd do a dish that is inspired in my youth. Ah. When, when I was young, when I was little, um, you know, we didn't have much money. Absolutely not. It was, you know, shortly after the Civil War. Because the Civil War, I was born in '45, and the Civil War was until '30, uh, 40, whatever, '39. So anyway, so you know, it was Spain was definitely not a wealthy country, and so we, um, for dinner, we always had the same thing. We had a soup, you know, usually it was a pasta soup or a bread soup or, mm -hmm. or something, and uh, yeah, bread soup all the time with with a, with a, a, uh, tomillo, tomillo, thyme, thyme, thank you, Time. and rosemary and such. Anyway, so um, and then we had as a second course we had um, uh, mashed potatoes or I'm uh, sorry, boiled potatoes, and and boiled um, uh, Swiss chard, Swiss chard, which I didn't like very much, a felgas, and um, but sometimes we had spinach, and okay. spinach I like much better. So this dish is inspired into, but you know, here I added cheese, I added a little uh -huh. bit of milk. These are spinach and potato tim balls. So yeah. it's a, it's a, like a little, like a uh, side dish, a little like almost yeah. savory flan. Um, and uh, yeah, a great little side dish with um, spinach, potato and cheese. Okay, you were saying yeah. you had a lot of spinach, a lot of Swiss chard and boiled potatoes growing up. Right, and then oh, we what had fun. Some, a piece of fish because you know, fish in those days was also the cheapest, right? And then for dessert, we had fruit every evening the same. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, I got really sick of Swiss chard. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and then actually what I had uh, not, well, uh, a few years ago, do you remember that? We had sorrel. Uh, there? You know, I can't say I remember having sorrel there. Okay. But first off, in terms of the links, um, you can find the links to the recipe and um, the wine pairing. We have paired this dish yeah. with our um, 2018 Stony Block Pinot Noir. And, and you can find those links in the content of the post. And okay, let's get started cooking. What comes first? Wait, wait, wait. I haven't finished my story, but no. I forget. Where was I? Um, okay, anyway, so here is the, first of all, we boil the potato, okay? So here, in a, in a lovely thingamajig, um, I have the potato that has been boiled. So I'm going to peel it, and I'm going to put it um, here. Okay, can you see? Uno, dos, y tres. Oh, lost. Okay, I did not do it very well, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, so then we move this out, and then here, <laughs> and here we have Chico getting excited because he's getting dinner. And then here we have the um, uh, onion, which I've, I've sauteed some onion. And, um, and here and then, well, okay, but then what we have to do is I have to peel the potato. You can do something else. Oops, here is my lovely knife. Oh, right. Hey, my, okay, you can what talk you about the wine. Hey, oops, where am I? So we are um, here peeling it. You want to talk about the wine? Okay, all right, let's talk about the wine. Right, so we've got your 2018 Stony Block Pinot Noir. Um, this is a uh, special bottling from our Stony Block here at the Don Miguel Vineyard. It is um, 
just actually very close to to my mom's house where we are coming to you from and it is well believe it or not it is very stony very rocky um there have been quite a few tractor blades that have been destroyed thanks to the uh the very stony soils of the uh -huh. stony block Absolutely. imagine that yeah yeah um so this is really a um this wine is a small bottling just for our wine club. It is um, from the Stony Block. The soils are the Gold Ridge, or not Gold Ridge soils, which are in the rest of the vineyard. They're the Sebastopol yeah, series, yeah, yeah. which has more, you've told me before the difference between these two soils. Can I tell you, can I tell you something? Because it has to be done now. Okay. So then while the potatoes are being mashed and they are still warm, you put uh, some butter, right? Here's a tablespoon of butter because it will, um, then it will uh, melt it much better okay okay no, keep going. all right so, yeah and do be sure to ask um any questions you have just ask in um type your questions in whether it's about substitutions let us know that you're tuning in and um what you are what you are cooking this weekend what if you have any wine open what you will be drinking this evening and um yeah all right so we've got our mashed potatoes and, the there we go. and then now we are going now the the, the onion is already sauteed of course while okay. you were doing something yeah and then you are um take the 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 spinach or sorrel right and i kind of really really cut it very finely da, da, da. but not 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 with a, with a food processor but with by hand and it's already cut like a coarse coarse chop yeah and then you put it here with the onion Okay. And, uh, and I'm not used to electric oven, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think that it's at the, at the temperature that it should be, but I am not. All righty. So, so while, the, uh, while the spinach is, is on its way to being more wilted and uh, integrated with the onions, um, so the stony block is, um, again, that uh, it has more, I believe, more limestone than the Gold Ridge soil in the rest of the and vineyard. And it's not good about it. It has serpentine. Uh -huh. That's, that's okay. our, our, our... So end. what what happens with serpentine blocks the, the intake of nutrients in the soil, from yeah. the soil. So you don't grow grapes with the serpentine. Uh -huh. So this is a property that I bought. I didn't realize that. But I bought it really very inexpensively. But we only have uh, four acres. where It's 13 acres, but we only have four acres where we grow grapes. Okay. So this now is going to be three minutes. Okay. Um, and so it is also the highest elevation uh, plot in our vineyard. So uh -huh. it is um, it is a little bit cooler um, due to that higher elevation. Yep, and yep. Um, yeah, this is really um, the stony block. So we age it in French oak for ten months. Um, Fifty percent new oak, always, always French oak. Whenever mm. there is oak aging in yeah. our wines, and we also it is unfiltered, and um, as all of our red wines you are. About the no, this is the Dijon one, one, one five, one fifteen. And the interesting thing is right next uh, to the Earthquake Block, which is Pomar Club, and they are such different wines. The Pomar, um, I mean the the Earthquake Block, uh, is is much more voluptuous. This one is much more, um, I don't know, Burgundian in some way, right? Mm. It's more, mm. um, mm -hmm. uh, how do you call that? Um, you know, uh, earthy, earthy. Thank forest you. floor. Yeah, for exactly that. Mm -hmm. Yes, mushroom. This is yeah. yeah this is a, a club mm -hmm. favorite, and it was included in the Verde um, Spring Batch, mm -hmm. and um, in a few green. yes, 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 in a few batches this fall as well. It is club shipment season, so the uh -huh. tasting room is very busy. Um, we shipped out a lot of wine this week, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been nonstop. <laughs> It has been nonstop. And then we've got tomorrow, we have a big event. We've got uh, our Harvest Paella lunch. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that'll be 50 people. Mom's making a paella for 50 people yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, never never a dull day. No, no, no. The most I've had here is 60 people, and that's like too much because they say, like, can we have 50? Okay, fine, but 50, okay? And actually it's 52 because it's you and me. Okay, yeah, all right, okay. all right. So, okay, so now we're going to pretend that this is done. Oh, it is almost I done. Turned it up. I might have turned it up a little because I was a little concerned it wasn't, uh, the spinach yeah, yeah. wasn't wilting too much. Okay, so, um, oh, this looks promising. Should we pretend okay. that it's wilted or do you want to cook it a little more while you talk about? 
Let's see. Well, Life if you have um, if you have any questions, as mentioned, do put them in the chat. Let us know that you've tuned in. And let's see. Um, what else do we have to say? So well, that, that, sorrel is not necessarily. So this this recipe was originally my mom wrote it with this bizarre thing called sorrel, which is not exactly widely available in grocery stores. So thus we swapped out. Spinach. Yeah, because I I forget why, but I planted some on our little veggie garden, and it's it's very, um, uh, what did I tell you earlier? Cause it's, it's more, more like tangy, tangy and lemony. citrusy yeah, than spinach. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's pretty good, but I don't find it in the market, and we should plant some, but I forget, I keep forgetting. We should plant some. Uh, yeah. ah! Ooh, oh boy, party has started, Ooh. all right. Let's bring you down. <laughs> there we go, I will go get myself another glass. Okay, meanwhile I'll tell them about this. That's the first that's time that's happened. happened on the cooking show. Look at that. That's right. There's a first time that's for everything. Good luck, <laughs> always good luck. And so here what we have is that the, 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 uh, the, uh, the spinach is, is wilting and that we're not gonna drain it. So it, it um, okay, let's take this off. So it's, uh, it's perfectly wilted and we're gonna put it in a bowl Okay, you can see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. So uh, it was pretty on it, and now it's going to go with the potato. All right. And, and it's super, like... super basic ingredients, all really yeah. simple basic there ingredients. Usually we try to think of substitutions, but honestly, here, there are no substitutions. Sorrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can find sorrel, you can substitute sorrel for spinach. Okay. So I'm going to add this. Oh, can you hold it? Oh, my wrist hurts. It's such a and there we go. So we put it here, and then we add. Okay. Um, right, and maybe I'm gonna move this. Out. Is it hot? Yeah. Okay. And so here we. Oh, we have a little bit of a glass. And so here it is. So we add. Um, let's see if I remember the egg, um, beaten right, and um, and salt and pepper. And do I forget something? Eggs. Oh, and the milk. And a little bit of milk, right? And, oh, and I think cheese, right? Uh, salt, pepper, uh, fresh, yes. And then freshly grated. Um, Only that much cheese? That doesn't look like enough no, it's cheese. No, twice, twice. We put it afterwards there. Oh, okay. Okay. No? okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have the cheese when I was a little girl. So <laughs> that's, that just was. There was no cheese. Like when I was, no, not in this dish. Uh, or, <laughs> Or, a, or in the egg house. or anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was a. And the potato is really, um, it's an interesting, um, essentially, it makes it, as instead of adding more cream, um, it makes it a little lighter, a little healthier, and adds an interesting texture, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. And at least that's, that's what my mom what says. It looks like, yep. And then we add it all together. Okay. And because this was already done, right? Because I didn't know that we would have it done, but it's really perfect. So and this is a great good. side dish with um, with any meat, with yes. uh, game, yes. with um, yeah. with yeah. poultry. Yeah. Um, it's a great side dish for fall and super easy, um, really straightforward ingredients. And that's um, what it looks like. Well, there that, we go. Oh, I always forget. Yeah, that way. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do? I'm going to put all this aside. And we're going to um, make the molos, the timbal, right? Yeah. We're going to put. So, first. what's the definition of a timbal? Didn't you just say it? <laughs> well, no. Mm, that's what Google is for, though. <laughs> okay. All right. We shall Google. Uh, uh, it's this. It's a little. A it's little, like a little flan, flan mold. mold. Yeah, exactly. A flan mold. So okay. we put a little bit of um, um, oil, uh, blur, olive oil, of course, because this is from Spain. And then we put, you know, with your finger and so on. And then you put a little bit of flour, just for a what? All right, and then, <laughs> well, that's gonna happen to you. Yeah. All the, 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 <laughs> the pots and pans and pans. How do you test that? So you just put a little, it's just so they don't stick. Hmm. Okay. So you go like that. And you know, and just spill the flour all over the place, make a real mess. No problem. All right. And then you go like that. Okay. And then you put the cheese. So you can uh. see that the flour is uh, kind of throughout the the mold, dusted yep, on. Yep. And then how much? Ah, uh, and then the cheese, all the cheese. 
all the cheese. Well, I guess uh, that's probably enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because we're not gonna only make then one. Then I can have some. There actually, yeah, there's actually enough here for about three. And so then you just put this in here. Okay. And that's it. Good. Okay. And and you put it in the three fifty oven. I guess three fifty. Okay. Yeah. So we have enough for, for about three here, which we will make as turbulence. So you want to put in the oven? Okay, in the All oven. Right. And here it comes. And magically, after 30 minutes, it's been 30 minutes, yeah. just like that, just there with the go. clink of a glass, of a new unbroken glass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one who always breaks things. Yeah, that's true. I, that's a, that's a, an exception. It looks like mom needs some more wine. Oh, yeah. It's been a long so day, good. long week. Oh, so good. And so here's what they look like. Good. Okay. And then we're going to get a lovely little dish. All right. And so where did this recipe come from, mom? Where did you get the, the idea? I guess from... You yeah. know, these classic memories of my childhood. And this is from my second book, which is the one that I was writing when you were two years old. Okay. So this is probably, it could be actually called Spinach Timbal's Christina. Because uh -huh. again, everything that goes in it is so healthy. You know, it's uh, well, this is because mom's talking in reference to zucchini cake, Christina. That's right. Which is a fundamental, probably the most quintessential dish, dish here uh, at the winery is um, a savory zucchini kind of like flan, almost like a quiche without the without the crust, except mom doesn't like it being called quiche, quiche because <laughs> if we call it a frittata or a quiche, uh, we're using huh. the French early toast. Did you see Very how nice. it came out? Eh? Very like nice. Look at and that. And then we put a little more cheese on top and we put it in the broiler. Oh, beautiful. Gets all, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So let's put on the broiler. Actually, I shouldn't have put it on the dish. But um, do you have a um, uh, bell de lum? Okay, so and this goes in the broiler on this. Yeah. And ta-da! Just like that, we have our timbal um, with the cheese that's been under the broiler, broiler nice yeah. and little golden brown. And it's ready. Oh, oh my gosh. Black, even, but don't look at the black. It should be black. <laughs> Mom, they can't see it okay. properly. No, no. It's they can't perfect. see it properly. It's perfect. It's just good. <laughs> We're supposed to just say that it's perfect. <laughs> well, these will be oh, perfect, Oh, those huh? are very cute. Yeah. Those are very cute. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. Okay. Here you Thank go. You With the stony ball. I am hungry. Yum. Yeah. Me too. Is it too hot? No. Oh, good. Mmm. Very good. Very mm -hmm. healthy. T like tastes like spinach, but with enough ch enough cheese and potato to make it interesting. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. mm. I think at home mm. I never make this because I don't know. It's like memories of my not so happy <laughs> eating wise childhood right kind of like how you won't eat lentils or oh. chickpeas oh. okay you have to tell the story of why you will not mm -hmm. touch mm -hmm. lentils the worst two years of my life were my parents um decided because i i don't know i think it was chemistry that i i i didn't uh, uh I, failed i failed and so mom wasn't a very good student <gasps> Says who? I you was a fantastic said, student. Well, you I, failed classes. No, what I did was I didn't fail. I just didn't study because I was very smart. So I got out of <laughs> exam. <laughs> I promise. This sounds like some BS as far I, as I'm no, concerned. No, no, I have never failed anything, uh, and that was the first time. So my parents were looking for an excuse to send me to a boarding school because my other brother had gone to boarding school and my middle brother had gone to boarding school. I'm not kidding you. So I had to go to boarding school, but they didn't have any reason until I failed the chemistry thing. Uh, that's that's a true story. Okay. And so I went to this oh horrible thing. I thought you were like the troublemaker who was troublemaker, always yes. no, joking was around, clowning yeah. around class. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. And oh, that's true. Also, and so I was I was eating at um, media pension. It means uh, lunch like only. Like boarding. Ha ha half board. Half board. Yeah. Which means that I stayed for lunch at school, and um, and, um, and that's where I not only ate, uh, learned to 
cut my mm, bananas and my oranges with just using a fork and a knife. This which, is true. Okay, Mom true. can peel peel an orange um, exactly. with just a fork and a knife. Yep, without and using her banana. fingers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but also, but we're getting back to the lentils, Mom. Yes. So it was lentils and and chickpeas and que son las judías. Uh, uh, judías, judías, judías secas. Uh, beans. beans. Beans, dried beans. And oh boy, I ended up, I ended up hating them. So then the, the, the nun who took care of the half pension of the, of the lunches, right? Um, she, she didn't like me. Well, I didn't like her either. Who so, would love mom? Right, poor right, poor right. troublemaker clown mom. So, so the nun told my parents, or my mother, that, you know, she, she's a bit of a clown and you know I don't want her in my in my um, lunch anymore and that was also the, the another reason for sending me to boarding school okay. so anyway boarding oh school um, what could kind of boarding school come for I don't know anyway just why you school. won't eat lentils or chickpeas right but the, that was which are so healthy school. for a plant-based diet yeah so that's healthy. Right. But well anyway that's um, it for our show today. Enough um, stories. Huh? Enough, stories story. enough stories. Enough stories. <laughs> and uh, we will be coming back to you in uh, on November fourth or so, the day before the day before another event we have, yeah. the vertical. I want to finish launch. my story though. I really want to finish the story. Okay, so I, go when, for it. when the nun you said, can't tell my mom what to do. Good luck trying to stop my mom. <laughs> when the nun said that I was a clown and that you know she didn't want me at. at, at a class unless but I had like I don't know two weeks or three weeks that I, if I behaved I would stay and I promised that I behaved better than ever and wow. she told my parents that I had not behaved Aww. so she didn't love me Aww, that's me. mean yeah that's right I'll bring so I, yeah. that's mean yeah, but, well on that wonderful note yeah. uh, <laughs> we hope you have a, a wonderful wonderful weekend and um, We'll be coming back to you in November. That'll be just a week before Mom's birthday. That's we'll have right. to do something for Mom's That's birthday. Right. Right. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, look forward to seeing you then. I'm off to the Occidental Farmer's Market with Ooh. some good friends who are visiting. Oh, um, no. I'm excited to show them around. Some friends visiting from... Um, from um, um, Oh my goodness, from Oklahoma as well as from Ohio. It's been a long day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you next time and cheers. Cheers. And I want to go to the farm market, but I can't. Yeah, I have to go you to should. A, I have to go to a concert at a friend's house, but it's not until seven. Maybe I can come anyway. Okay. Bye. <laughs>